Hello, everyone. The situation in Ukraine, specifically around Ukraine's infrastructure, is beginning to resemble more and more what we had for extended periods of time in the Soviet Union. Water services have been suspended in Kyiv because um, water supply infrastructure has been shelled by the Russians. Both Moldova, the country right next to Ukraine, look it up on the map, it's kind of wedged between Ukraine and uh, Europe, um, is also experiencing blackouts. Uh, and I think uh, there are issues with the gas supplies in the westernmost uh, large city in Ukraine, Lviv, and in Moldova. Unfortunately, Moldova, like Ukraine, is not a NATO member, so... Nobody's going to do anything about this. Not only is Russia striking against Ukraine's infrastructure and civilian targets everywhere, they're also costing Ukraine its talent, its youth, its future. For example, in the battle for Bakhmut, a singer from the National Theater of Opera and Operetta has been killed. Vadim Kurpanets, he was 26 years old. As people are facing the worst winter since World War II, without water, without electricity, without heat, people in suits continue issuing symbolic motions, such as the European Par Parliament issuing a statement that Russia is a state sponsor of terrorism. Again, this does nothing. What Ukraine needs is UN peacekeepers and NATO boots on the ground, backed by weapons, to sweep this vermin out of Ukrainian territory. And then there is the last piece of news right there at the very bottom. So one of the towns struck last night is Palohi. It is in Zaporizhia region. So there's on the map Zaporizhia on the left, and the red dot shows Palohi on the right. So, you know, between an hour and a half, couple hour drive there, we all know where it's at. One of the rockets struck a hospital. And one of the casualties was a baby who was just born at that hospital. The mother was wounded. There was another baby who was wounded. And two doctors were fortunately rescued alive from under the rubble. If you have children, remember the day when you, they were born. And now imagine this happening to you. Thank you for watching.